Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about Microsoft Edge browser that comes with Windows uh, latest versions, Windows 10 and 11. In this case, we are using Windows 11. We are going to cover up about the beta version. You can simply search uh, Edge beta or and you can go to Microsoft Edge beta channel and it will take you to the beta channels. There, you can download the beta version that comes every four weeks, it comes a new update. They release a new update. This is one. The other place you can check this from is help and about Microsoft Edge. When you go there, you can simply click this link, learn more, where you will see one of the first uh, new features. What are the comings? You can join the insider community and you can find the right preview channel for you which channel you would like the beta version it is the most stable version of edge preview experience preview means it is not released properly means not fully released for general public it is for the developers for the development community we have dev channel that our uh, dev build are the best representation of our improvements in the past week what they do every week will be shown here you can simply click there and download or you can have canary channel that what they work the development team what they worked yesterday that update is available here if you have any issue you can click click trouble downloading it will troubleshoot or give you the download link if you scroll further down you have insider channels for uh, you can see the qr code of these you can post them anywhere in your uh, company if you are using or you can download ios uh, insider channels for ios operating system apple operating system like iphone ipad or mac os further down if you scroll other platforms Mac OS, Windows 11, uh, Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 7, Windows Server 2016 and above, Windows Server 2018 to 2012, HoloLens, Linux, iOS and Android. You can simply click those links and download. What we are interested in, we have already, we got the beta channel. If you search here, I have downloaded beta. What I'm interested right now in, Dev channel also will be weekly. Uh, I will download the Canary channel. Accept download. Simply install. It will take uh, yeah less than a minute. In fact, less than half of a minute. Now we have Canary channel available. They are asking me to improve, uh, help them improve the updates. Yes, confirm and continue. If I would like, I can bring in data from uh, synchronize my Google account. I'll just allow this on all networks, allow access. So it will be added to firewall. I'm good without this data on this. And now we do have this our uh, we can further when we have edge welcome we can further uh, uh, set up the settings like how the layout will be we can change the colors or we can choose our own if we like if we were, would like to go to the set dark mode or light mode or automatic mode whatever the system is using or if we'd like to go to settings we can simply write settings there and it will take us to all the settings that we have uh, what i am interested in showing uh, 
uh, for example I would like to show you how they have improved the progressive web apps in beta channels or in development channels or in canary channels of edge browser if you would just like to go to the app now you can see there is nothing as the app loads it will show you you can see app available it shows you app you can simply install the app and you can choose what you like to do you can auto start the app on device login you can create a desktop you can pin it to the taskbar when you allow this opens up your app now we do have this app here uh, on our desktop and on our taskbar as well this is one of the progressive web apps what happens in progressive web apps even if your internet is disconnected these apps will still work and as they as the internet comes back they will synchronize with your online web server to meet with the latest updates and requirements always go to help and feedback about the edge browser here it will check your uh, edge browser for new updates keep your edge browser updated you must uh, disable this keep this disabled download updates over meter versions you don't need to download on meter versions meter versions are now there are so many updates or apps that i have already installed on my regular edge browser that they would like me to download or install um, I'm just using it. I can use those if I'm testing my application, the application apps I'm developing. If I would like, I can use them so I can see how my VU JavaScript tools, development tools, and likewise other, extent, other extensions, they work on the Edge browser. If I don't want, I will just disable them. The ones, for example, ad blocker, I need it. Uh, the screenshot, uh, I need it. If I don't need it, I'll just disable it. Toggle switch on and off. There are further more uh, improvements they have done. They manage uh, the allow extension from the other sources. You can do that in uh, April preview of uh, Edge browser. The ability to set the default profile. The default profile I'm using here. I'm using only one. I can add more people while i add i can even have multiple people or multiple profiles but in each uh, every time i open which default profile will open here that i can set in the latest version not in the previous versions so that will be all for now as we receive new updates i will get you posted thank you very much